So the other day I posted a video on my channel showing you guys the steps to build a ready-made one person online business using ChatGPT and make.com and you guys seem to have really liked it. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking things a step further and I'm gonna show you how you can use make.com together with Google Gemini when it comes to building a fully automated online business from the comfort of your own home. And just to kind of paint the picture as to how all of this works, if I just jump onto Google, let's assume that I'm a regular customer that's looking for information about a potential product that I'm thinking about buying. What I may do is just go onto it just like this and enter the search term. Of course, this is gonna be something that a dog owner is going to type in. So they're gonna enter this and then click on Google search. And I'm sure 99% of you guys that's watching this video already knows how Google search works. But a lot of you probably don't realize that there's normal people just like yourself that's making money from Google search for completely free with the setup that I'm gonna show you in today's video. Because if I just scroll down just like this on the first page, there's gonna be all of these different sites, but there's also gonna be sites like this where they've posted this article over a year ago, but yet they've still been able to get their website ranked on the first page of Google for this search term. So let me just click into it. So this is what the article looks like. Someone's gonna click into it. They're gonna read through it. They're gonna get all the information that they need. Super simple article. It's not long at all, but yet it's still been able to get ranked. And it's also allowing them to get traffic onto their site. But the best thing about articles just like this is that number one, they could be written with the help of Google Gemini. Number two, they could be automated using make.com. And number three, these articles are getting traffic to the site 24 seven. And within these articles, there's gonna be these different links where if someone clicks into one of those links, it's gonna take the reader directly to the product page where they can now select whatever variant they want and they can buy the item straight away. And most of you right now are probably thinking, Sam, just because they're posting all of these different articles, it doesn't mean that they're making any sort of revenue. Well, if I just go over to this tool over here called Zeke Analytics, I'm just gonna paste the URL of the store in there just like that. And Zeke Analytics is gonna be able to bring up a lot of useful data. So let's just click on search. Okay, perfect. So right here, we can see all of the products that they've got listed. They've got over 44. We can see how many estimated sales they had in the last 30 days, as well as the estimated revenue. And even though this number is just an estimate, based on the amount of traffic they get in, based on the activity that's happening on their store, they're definitely bringing in a decent amount. And even if you was to make a small percentage of this, I'm sure that you'll be completely happy. And that's the whole premise of what I wanna show you today. I wanna to show you how you can connect Gemini to make.com when it comes to automating all of these different blog articles that are going to be published because I'm sure sites like this are probably doing the exact same thing because if I just click on blog, as we can see, it seems like they are consistent when it comes to posting a brand new article every single day that's allowing them to promote all of their different products for completely free. So I'm going to be showing you how I can set this up using a store that I was able to build. So this is a pet store that I've shown on my channel recently, and I'm going to automate blog articles to be published on this website for me to promote this particular product. If you didn't know by now, the way that I was able to build this store was with a completely free AI store builder. I'm gonna leave it linked down below, super simple to use and it's free, you don't have to pay a penny. And it basically just takes you through all of the steps that you're going to need to go through when it comes to deciding on what type of store you wanna build. This isn't the only product that's been loaded onto the site. If I just click on catalog, we can see all of these different items, but the one that I'm gonna be using in today's video is going to be this one when it comes to driving organic traffic using blog articles. So one of the first steps is to, of course, get your site built. And if you did want an over the shoulder aspect when it comes to doing this yourself, as a complete beginner, I've got a completely free course, top link in the description. But once your store's set up and you're ready to start automating all of these different blog articles, you just need to head over to make.com. I'm gonna leave a link directly to them as well in my description. You're gonna be able to use it for completely free and that's what I like about it. And for those of you that's not really sure of exactly what this is, maybe you didn't watch my previous video, maybe you haven't enrolled into my course yet. This is a really powerful automation tool that anyone can use and it works in a way where it connects various different apps, various different AI tools and various different softwares together. And the way that it works is, for example, with what I'm gonna be showing you today, you can connect Google Gemini to speak directly to your Shopify store so that articles are gonna be published every single day without you having to lift a finger. 
So yeah, it's definitely really powerful. All you got to do once you get to this point is just click on get started for free. And once you've created your account and you've logged in, this is going to be the next page that you're going to see. So I'm going to try and be as detailed as possible just to kind of illustrate how this works. Even if you don't want to set up blog articles on a Shopify store and you want to use make.com and Gemini for something else, you're still going to learn a lot from this video. So first things first, what you're going to do is land on this interface. And this is where you're going to connect all of your different modules. As we can see over here, you know, there's all of these different apps that you can use. We've got OpenAI, we've got Google Sheets, we've got Shopify, we've got Google Gemini, Gmail, Telegram. You know, there's so many different apps. But the one that we're going to start off with is Google Sheets. So I'm just going to type in Google Sheets just like that. And what I'm going to do is click on watch new roles. If you're doing this for the first time, you need to make sure that you set up your connection. So as you can see, I've already done that. My Google account is already connected. So if you haven't done so yet, you're just going to click on add. And literally, it's just going to be a case of you clicking on sign in with your Google account. Once you've done that, you're going to give permission for make.com to access your sheets. And from here, this is where you're going to set everything up. So I'm going to select the spreadsheet that I'm going to be using, which is going to be this one over here. So I've already named it pet store, Gemini make.com. So for me to find it, I'm just going to click on this one and then come over here to my drive. And then the spreadsheet ID is going to be the one that I'm working with. So let me just click on refresh. Okay. So the spreadsheet ID has now been selected for the sheet name. It's going to be sheet one because that is the sheet that we're working with over here. And from there, what I'm going to do is change this to A to D. And the reason for that is because we're working with columns A, B, C, and D. And then from there, you're just going to change it to limit one so that it looks at one row at a time. And then once you've done that, you're just going to click on save and then click on all and then click on save once again. Okay, so if you're following along and you've gotten to this point, the next step that you need to take is to fill up the information in the spreadsheet. And there's going to be some data that you need to get. And the way that you need to see the spreadsheet is that each row, you know, row two, three, four, five, so on and so forth, counts towards one article. So if you want to publish one article per day and you want to publish an article every single day for the next week, you're going to get seven rows worth of data. So the way that you can do that is by going over to this Google document over here. This Google document has a prompt that you're going to be able to copy and paste directly into Google Gemini. You can find this in the completely free course link down below. So what I'm going to do is just copy it like that. Then open up Google Gemini. I'm going to paste it in there like this. And there's going to be some information that I need to fill out. But as you can see, it says here, I need data to copy and paste into a Google spreadsheet and I need four columns. So column one is going to be the amount of blog articles. So let's just do seven for now. I'm then going to say the type of store, which is a pet store and the name of the product that I'm selling is this one. So I'm just going to copy the entire title, go back over to Gemini and I'm going to paste in here like this. Column two is going to be the best keyword to use. Column three is going to be the name of the product. Once again, I'm going to put it in there. Column four is going to be the link of the product. So I'm just going to get that right now and I'm going to paste it in there like this. And from there, what I'm going to do is just click on submit. Okay, literally in a millisecond, as you can see, it's now come back with all the best articles that have a high chance of getting ranked in the Google search results. And the good thing about Gemini is, of course, it's connected to Google and Google is the biggest search engine that we're hoping to get these articles ranked on. So we can somewhat trust the information that it's given us. Of course, you still want to go away, double check. But for the most part, you can use this information, tailor it in any way that you want. So let's assume that I was looking to move forward with this. All I need to do is click on export to sheets. And there we go. I've now got the seven different article titles, the keywords and the product name as well as the product link. So now that I've done this, I'm just going to go back over to make.com and I'm going to connect this module to the Google Gemini one. So I'm just going to click on the plus icon. I'm going to type in Gemini and then I'm going to say that I wanted to create a completion. And again, you're going to need to connect your Gemini account. And to do that, you're just going to click on add and you're going to get an API key. You can get the API key directly from the Google AI studio. So you can just go over to this link. I'm just going to copy it and show you exactly what it looks like. 
Once you go onto your Google AI Studio account, you're going to see this option over here that says get API key. So you're just going to click on it just like this. And it's going to be over here where you're going to click on create API key. You're going to select the project that you're working on. So if I just click on create project, I'm just going to say make.com pet store, create project. And I'm also going to enter the name as well and then click on create key. And as you can see, this is the key that I'm now going to copy and paste. And then you're simply going to paste the API key in this box. So it's really straightforward. And the good thing about Google Gemini when it comes to doing all of this is that you don't need to pay anything initially. You know, you're going to be able to get started for completely free when it comes to automating all of these different blog articles. So once you've done that, what you're now going to do is select the AI model that you're working with. So you're just going to click on this drop down menu. And at the time of me recording this video, the best one to pick is Gemini 2.5. So you can go with 2.5 Flash or Pro. Let me just click on Flash for now. From there, what you're going to do is open up messages, select user, and it's going to be in this section here where it says prompts, where you're going to need to, of course, insert the prompt when it comes to Gemini knowing what type of article you want it to write. So once again, you're going to be able to find this within the document that is going to be linked top link in the description down below. So I'm just going to copy the prompt just like that. Go back over to make.com, paste it in there like this. And it's going to be some things that I need to update. So for the blog title, we're going to be connecting it to the title over here. So you're going to have to map everything to the Google sheet. The keyword is going to be mapped to this. The product name is going to be mapped to column C and the link of the product is going to be mapped to column D. You're also going to scroll down over here. You're going to see another product name. So we're going to map that to column C once again. And yeah, for the most part, that's all you really need to do. Everything else you can leave it the same. So what you're going to need to do is just click on save. And one of the final modules that you're going to need to connect to the Gemini one is going to be, of course, the Shopify one. So if I just open it up like that, I'm going to search for Shopify and I'm going to click on create an article. And once again, you're also going to have to connect your Shopify store as well. So to do that, you're just going to click on add. You're going to come over here to connection type and you've got these two options. The one that you're going to go with is custom app. And what you need to do is get your domain and you also need to get the admin API access token. And to quickly show you how this is done for those of you that may have a Shopify store, maybe because you built it using the AI store builder, or maybe you've just generally got a Shopify store up and running. What you need to do when it comes to connecting your account to make.com is go to the back end of your Shopify account. You're going to click on settings. What you then need to do is click on apps and sales channels. From there, you just need to click on develop apps and then click on create an app. And you're just going to name it. I'm just going to call it make.com pet store. And then you're going to click on configure admin API scopes. And all you got to do from here is just type in content, select this one, select this one. And what you're doing here is that you're just giving permission to make.com to post articles on your Shopify store automatically. So you're just going to click on save. Then all you need to do is just click on install apps, then install once again. And from there, Shopify should now give you the API key. OK, perfect. So I'm not going to reveal it right now because I don't want you guys to see it. But you're going to click on reveal token once. From there, you're going to copy it. You're going to insert your domain as you can see it over here. And you're just going to paste the API access token in here and then click on save. And everything else after this is going to be straightforward. Everything has now been connected to your make.com account. So if I just click on blog ID, I'm going to click on news. The title, I'm going to map it to the title in the spreadsheet. The name of the author, I'm just going to call it Sam for now. I'm going to scroll down over here for the body of the article. I'm going to come over here to the Google Gemini module. And then I'm going to click on result. And then I'm going to click on save. And now that everything has been set up, you're going to be able to run it once, test it out, make sure that it works. So I'm just going to quickly do that right now. And right here, as you can see, the article has now been published onto my store. So if I just double check it on the actual site in terms of what people are going to see, this is the article right here. Everything has been formatted correctly. Everything has been done as it should. And of course, when it comes to the links, you're going to be able to see them right here when someone clicks into it. It's going to take them directly to the product. And this is something that can be automated so that you don't have to manually do it every single time. 
A brand new article is going to be published at whatever time that you want of the day. So you can sit back and see a brand new article go onto your site without you having to do anything. This is definitely a powerful way of using AI automation because it doesn't just stop there. You can now turn these blog articles into video content for you to automatically post onto Instagram, TikTok, Facebook for you to get traffic that way as well. So this is a great way for you to get people from Google search. And then you could now repurpose these different articles in other ways when it comes to getting multiple sources of traffic for you to potentially generate multiple streams of income. But yeah, for the most part, I would say that that's definitely a simple setup when it comes to using make.com as well as Google Gemini to help you build an automated business. There's other ways that I'm going to be releasing over the next few days. So if you've enjoyed this video, you've learned anything from it. Don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know once a new video has been released. And if you wanted a full step by step guide as to how you can get started with this, an over the shoulder aspect when it comes to helping you set things up click by click, step by step, you're going to be able to check that out. Free course, top link in the description. And if you also want to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where in this video, I break down some other ways that you can set up AI automations. That not that many people are talking about you're going to be able to watch that video by clicking the link right there check that out straight after this it's already helped out so many people and i'm sure that it can help you out too but other than that guys i'm going to catch you on that next video make sure you stay safe out there peace